Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. And today we are making sweet potato brownies. You know, I have made these and brought these to events and people never know. Trust me, try it. If you don't like it, no worries. But I bet you won't even know. This recipe is gluten-free, dairy-free, and I can't say it's calorie free. I wish I could, but let's get to it. It's super simple and easy. So I have one sweet potato here, which I baked. Now, if you don't want to go to the trouble of baking your own sweet potato, you could buy pureed uh, sweet potato at the store. It's usually in the frozen section, but you just want one sweet potato. So we're literally just going to dump that in there. I did obviously peel it. To the sweet potato, I am adding um, a half a cup of, of uh, maple syrup. If you want to use honey instead, you could. If you wanted to use dates and um, puree them, you could do that. Uh, if you want to use regular white sugar, you could use that. So just make it how you want. To this, I'm also adding a teaspoon of vanilla. And we are adding, I used almond butter. Um, you can use peanut butter, cashew butter, whatever kind of butter you want. And uh, nut butter, I should say. You do want to microwave it just for about 30 seconds, make it soft. And it'll just make it so everything gets blended more together easily. We are then going to put this on the mixer. and give it a whirl. You're gonna puree it for a couple of minutes. We wanna get that all really good incorporated, get the sweet potato really light and fluffy, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so it's been beating for a couple of minutes. To the sweet potatoes, we are adding a quarter cup of cacao powder. Cacao powder is like cocoa powder. So if you don't have cacao, add cocoa. And then we're also adding a quarter cup of cassava flour. Um, that is a sweet potato flour. Again, you don't have to use that one. If you don't have it, you could use regular white flour or you could use a gluten substitute flour to keep it gluten free. We are also adding a teaspoon and a half of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna incorporate the rest of these before we add our chips. Okay, so we're gonna add in our chips, and that is half a bag, um, which is probably what, like five ounces? And you just gotta stir that to get that it combined. And voila, we are done. Okay, you can see that looks lovely. And we're simply just going to take um, an eight by eight square. You could also do it in a nine by 13 if you want thinner and crispier. We're going to just spray our pan real fast. And just like you would with any other batter, we're gonna just pour it in. If you want it to be a darker chocolate, um, you could add more cacao powder. Mm. All right. We are gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and then I will get to take it out and taste it for you guys. All right, our timer went off. Uh, I did actually end up having to cook this batch for 25 minutes 
just, you know, I'm going to show you the wiggle. You want a wiggle, but not a jiggle. So brownies should never be like rock solid when you take them out. As they sit, they congeal together. So this is a wiggle. Okay. When it, it, a few minutes ago, it was definitely a jiggle. It was too much. So this has to cool for about 10 minutes and then it'll be set up and we can cut into our brownies and have a wonderful, somewhat healthy treat. All right, we finally get to eat brownies. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. If I didn't tell you, you would never know. Mmm. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.